Okay, hello and good day ladies and gentlemen to episode 3 of Warzag's Great Campaign. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably buttering that orky accent, but it's all with my accent, because me and Warzad here can see the future. <laughs> but yes, so I've just finished up my turn, and I've decided to be corrupt. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always finished up my turn here, as I'm doing the whole different change of recordings and whatnot, and showing you the end of every turn, rather than showing you everything what goes in through the turn. Mm -hmm. So yes, I've recruited, uh, that's the... My bases are still upgrading my camp's level, and I've also upgraded a better garrison in both of my Bitestone Mine and Dragonhorn Mines. I don't know why I said Bitestone, I mean Bitterstone. But yes, I also believe I, I might be able to be close enough to attack these silly, silly uh, top knots. So, am I in range? Nope, nope, nope. So, Ugh. Also, I have told my uh, ally, my little ally, to see if he's close enough to attack this rebellion and to deal with them. If they can, that will be glorious. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on, what? Oh, knobs, dual wielding knobs already. That's a good little clan they got there. Okay, sweet Monday. We have now got to turn twelve, and we have some interesting conundrums. Cause we have. The beast men. They're coming, and they aren't very far. Supposedly, they're in the shadows around here. Luckily for me, they are the uh, city orcs over here of the. Um, I, it says they the green skin tribe. It's, um, they are the bad moons, if, uh, if I remember correctly, or the evil suns. I don't know, but uh, yes, and also the red fangs. Which, yes, you can probably correct me if I did say that tribe wrong with the weird red face. Because I know that it's green skins, but that red sort of face is supposed to actually mean something, I guess. But, oh well. And I think I probably may have said the uh, the 40k thousand orcs version instead. But obey. yes, I've also noticed that the, uh, the these silly little people of the uh, border princes have come to try and take the stone mine tower. And I'm hopefully going to try and intercept them. And get Mr. Warzag in the way. As well as also send these two little guys off. My bit of an expedition to take on this, uh. Oh, grotty Mangol. Min mingle. And just, just basically get that. And these two garrisons in here should hopefully defend it a bit. Because, let's see the garrison. Yeah, that's a pretty decent garrison. I was going to say, it's even, uh. It's even big. They even have a bigger garrison than Ekrimund. So that's going to be good. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I know I've started early, but I've noticed with these orc tribes, these lovely red fangs are super diminished to the point where they almost have nothing in, in return. So this could be helpful by confederating with them because it looks like they're also having a high rate of confederating with me. So let us do it. It would be weird if for some reason all of a sudden they just went, nah. But hey, look at that now. Ho 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 ho. Yes, the entire wastes are almost mine. <laughs> and my strength rank went straight up to two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Best confederation ever. No. Maybe I have to make peace with you before confederating. I don't know. Whatever. I just have to do it the old fun way. <laughs> So let's see what cities we get over here, hmm? Ooh, this could look interesting. Now, okay, okay. This silly little border princess will burn. <laughs> okay, we are in this battle, and this is going to be good. Everybody's walking up. I decided to vanguard deploy my squigs. They might come in a bit late, but That'll be helpful because they're going to be flanking units anyway. Going to probably try and catch those uh, skirmishes, aka any sort of ranged archer. So let's move up. I have my archers set on the flanks as well. Which is probably not the wisest of decisions, but hey, who cares? I'm a little crazy ass mob trucker. Ooh, what is this? Get back here, eh? Hmm, interesting. But yes. 
Let's have everybody but charge in. Let's have these squid charge in as well. Charge everybody. Yes, success. Archers, you are doing a good job. Let's have you move up a. Uh, let's have you move up over here. And have Mr. Giant walk up here. Move over here. Now let's have uh, Edbert. Good Edbert sounds cool. Let's go that way. Archers, you're not doing anything either. You get over there. Sweet. You catch up with them. You move around too. Hmm. Let's do that right smack here. That's be good. And let us see. Let's mobilize you. And then has you go over here. Have you out up? Have you smack? Have this glorious giant smack down this lord. He does not deserve to live. Oh, there's no other archer going on. Good. You know what, let's have you move up over here, actually. Smash through there successfully. That's awesome. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now, where's my squigs gone? Squiggy hose? You're miles away, I can hear you over here. Get back into combat, you little dirty little monkeys. You get in there and cause up a giggle. A good luck us, you see. Yes! Let's just speed this up, Mr. Dweedy Lily. Because this is going to be amusing to watch, you see. Let's do this in slow motion, because I love the act of squigs just smashing into the legs of many, many people. Let's go for cinematic, too. Haha! <laughs> smashy, smashy! Smashy, smashy! Bitey, bitey! Chompy, chompy! And let's have you charge through as well, and just keep on, just keep on charging on through. Oh, this is going to be good. Now, where well, was everybody else over here, hmm? Anybody else would need any assistance? It appears to be that our cleanup crew is very good, very adequate. They are successful in their job. Over than you, you have let them escape. Hmm. Warzak does not like this, you see. It looks like he is going to go and have to gaze into this person. Speaking of that, where is my archers? Archers, you can too deal with that. If the uh, gaze does not kill him, which successfully did not, you silly, silly Warzak. You failed me for the last time. Or not, you killed him. Haha! <laughs> it was just delayed because of slow motion, you see! Haha! <laughs> Let us see you later! Mmm! Success! Smells like victory! And I do. I can smell pretty well. It's the other than these squigs, they have no noses. Possibly they do have noses, but oh well! See you in the campaign map, I see! Okay, okay. Let's see. What? Have I done on turn 14? Well, I've basically decided to kind of in a way semi bunker up, but we do have one fight over here at this lovely Grotten and Mingle. I have also noticed the top knots, which you haven't seen while I was learning, when it did that, when they did their turn, they tried to demand 300 gold of me for peace. And I was like, no, that's silly. And I was gonna be all like, yeah, we would have peace if you would confederate with me, but they were like, no. So, it looks like war it is, and Warzag knows a good war. <laughs> and we also have the border princes which keep on just keep on pestering our borders. <laughs> oh well, but yeah, I might have to start declaring a war on them and start sm putting a smackdown on those princes. And turn them into queen, little, little princesses. Aha! I, I don't know what I'm going like with this, but hey. <laughs> but I also, at some point, I will build an army up over here as well, in Karak Az Azok, Azgul, and the Crooked Fang Fort. So 
I can start fighting these dwarfs. So we can have a bit of a varied battle as well. I was hoping those um, beast men would wander over here as well so we can fight some beast men. Just so it's not always orc on orc action. You can take whatever contact into that as you want, but hey. So let's get into this battle. Okay. Everybody is having a good time. Because we are going to smash up some orcs. <laughs> this is going to be very good. And let's just get everybody up into this fight too. Let's just try and have them flank up because lols, why not? And hey, they see me if we can even get his catapult to start firing as well. Let's uh, just have it firing up here as well. Hmm, yes, it's going to be good. It's going to be nice. Let's have a nice lower down foe. I like seeing all these different, like, savage units they've ad they, uh, added with the radius mod. Makes the savage a bit more varied, so they aren't just sort of copied and pasted. The whole, uh, nice, cool looking, yeah, where are they? The overly capes on them. I know you're here somewhere. I can smell your fur. Aha, here they are. Yes, yeah, these little bi uh, big stabbers, or as I like to call them, bus stabbers. Yes, <laughs> bus stabber. Yes. But, how are my squigs doing? They're going a bit too far, aren't they? Hmm. Ah, yes, gobos. Gobos, go and fire at will, you little chickens. Yes, yeah, start moving up. What's up, you over here? What do you, do you have? Let's start shoving this lovely low wag here to stop boosting up the combat. No, the armor person doesn't do much because they have no armor, because we're savages. We don't need no armor. We have our pace. Slap it on, we'll be all good. Yes, we are the war indeed. The little war is okay too. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, this video is gonna be it should be like the posh orcs or something. <laughs> Cause I, I I'm thinking it's like constantly in a posh, posh accent for some bizarre reason. <laughs> uh, let's have everybody charge up. It'd be good to see. Everybody charge, you see. These little squig hoppers are having a good old time too. Okay, so we have a rebellion to deal with. So this is going to be interesting to possibly see because what I have noticed is there's going to be a bit of a artillery off. So we have a do so we have my rock lobber versus their doom diver, and which one probably might win. We don't know. Let us see. I personally, because I believe the catapult's a bit less range, I might just target the infantry and have somebody like my ball boys or my squig hoppers deal with them. But oh well, let's see. So then, let us begin this lovely campaign. And it appears to be that we're also quite lucky in the fact that with our lovely little moments, we have a situation where they would have been almost quite silly. Because they left their turret undefended, their catapult undefended. So let us go up there immediately and deal with them. So yeah, I've got my Savage Orc boys and my Squigs charging towards that lovely, deliciously tasting Dome Diver Catapult. They might be able to get one or two volleys off. Ah, they're silly, they're foolish. They have decided to try and fire their Doom Diver at me. They were able to get one good fire off at me, but I'll be able to tie that up and use it deal with that. It appears to be that they're trying to send over their chariot to deal with me. But that'll be silly. Hmm. I haven't got much anti-large, uh, anti but I do have one unit of poison, which would be helpful. So let's have these guys deal with them. And I'll send the giant over there as well. going on over here. Perfect. Nicely done. We have 
completely routed and successfully dealt with them immediately. They have routed up the battlefield. Perfect. Over here immediately. We desire more of your assistance. My cannibal seems to be causing a bit of suicide, so I'm going to start targeting the archers over here. Perfect. Perfect indeed as well. My big ins have a slight do advantage towards the large, but only a very slight one, and they're able to deal with them too. Their leadership has been very poopalicious, and causing them to be very derby. I don't know why I said poopalicious, but hey. Uh, no, let's not do that. Uh, let's do it to you, and let's go over here, and get the archers to start targeting this chariot, where it's going to be stuck. I guess that would do. Probably not the bestest of victories. But, pretty good I'd say. I wonder if I can cancel out this. No, I can't. Because I wish that I would kill the sergeant as well. Because this rebellion is probably not going to be completely wiped out. Okay, turn 17. I am preparing my war. Or shall I say, my war. <laughs> On Gal. Let me, let me say this slowly because I'm probably going to butcher it because I'm going to always say that when I try and say things fastly. Gal Baraz. I probably said that right. And also, I had in the previous turn, um, basically, the Border Princes, they attacked Stone Mine Tower. All this they did was, um, all they did was just um, break, uh, break the, um, break the port, which is not a problem. I was able to repair it. And we are good. It may think. Future. You may think, hmm. Two armies versus Absolutely just wars up. Oh, uh, it's gonna be fine because I have his war wow. built up, taking out that rebellion. And yeah, he's gonna go down there and help him out, which those two together. Because these guys, this ally has some serious punch. Because he has some uh, cool black orcs and a whole bunch of other people because it seems like my wag doesn't really care about the savage only sort of theme in it but that's no problem no problem oh, at all which I will find acceptable but I do have to find also notice that a lot of my buildings I need to sort of organize and sort out I've also recruited a guy over here which might prepare to take on these dwarves in the next video which because I'm going to be ending this video shortly because I think it's been long enough but I'm just doing a little quick uh, thing up. Also, you may notice I have no nasty stab, no nasty skulkers, and I was saying this is going to be only savage army. But skulkers, the nasty skulkers are very, very good. I, 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 they are very good with their smoke bombs, and this being goblins, they also have armor piercing and sh and the stalk stalk ability to be able to um basically not be seen is very handy for surprise attacks on the AI because the AI does not see where these uh, invisible fellas are. So that's also very handy indeed. <laughs> yes. But so in our next is so the next episode when I upload I will be taking on these border princes and I might also continue sending Warzag up and fighting these dwarves as well as maybe even uh, deal with some of the uh, the orcs as well over here because they're a bit close. The only downside is that I have to then deal with uh, Senor, Senor Fulgrim Grudge Bearer himself because he's going to have no one else to fight other than probably me. So it's going to be a bit crazy maybe. But oh well. This is going to be pretty fun anyway. I don't want to make it too boring for you. I just only show you orcs, orcs, orcs. Constantly fighting orcs. <laughs> I want to bring it to a bit variety. It's the same one. I also like those uh, annoying beast men was just destroyed so easily. But <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear any sort of information you would like to give me on like maybe how you like my video, which is also I noticed interesting because this guy has a regiment of renown, but it's not showing me their rank because of their thing was invisible. But I know they're a pretty good rank. <laughs> Yes, silly, silly, silly. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to hear what you, you have to say about my video. Anything I can improve upon, which I probably may have already heard of. But I would like to hear your point of view. Hang on, he's, he's got his legendary armor as well. 
He's already got his unique item too. Cool. Pretty cool. Uh, and very cool indeed. But I'm being distracted. Ha <laughs> Silly. Silly, silly, silly. But this coffee's good. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.